Tyler Costin here, Director of Player Development with PGC Basketball. I've got my man Jason Wells, PGC Director, and we are going to unlock the secret of how to beat a defender off the dribble. Here it is. Use their speed against them. We're going to unpack the cleverness that can give you the appearance of quickness even when your defender's quicker than you. Now most of you right now are trying to blow by a defender wrong. You're doing what everyone else does, what your coach has told you to do. And here's the thing, you will never gain an advantage if you do what everybody else does. But you can gain an advantage if you do things different. Most players attack on the left side of the floor with the ball in their outside hand, their left hand. Because they're more comfortable that way, they can protect the basketball. And so they set up their dribble move and their crossover with an outside hand attack. You're going to be able to blow by defenders if you actually do something unconventional. If you attack with the ball in your inside hand, that's the hand that's closer to the center of the floor. First off, Jason is my defender. He's had hours and hours and years and years defending players that attack him with the ball on the outside. He knows how to channel and guide me to the left hand side of the floor. It just throws off his rhythm, his body angle, his balance if I actually put the ball to my inside hand and attack with the ball in my inside hand. Generally, defenders will give you more space so that you can set up your move. You can get downhill with more of a head of steam. And here's what's really cool. If you're a clever and talented ball handler, you can actually use the ball to make the defender look foolish and get them to lunge for it. I am exposing the basketball a little bit more as I attack the outside of the ball in my inside hand. I'm baiting that defender. So the moment he goes for the ball, I can cross it over, get it protected. All of a sudden, I look really explosive. He looks out of position and foolish, and I've gotten myself a blow by and a high percentage shot. That's what happens most of the time. We'll just take it here at about 65% speed to show you what it might look like. You kind of want to move down the side of the court at a bit of a speed dribble just like this. The moment he makes that read, then you're buying, you're attacking. You can use a behind the back, a between the legs, or a crossover. But as you're attacking, try not to get a straight dribble. Try to attack on a bit of a ball circle dribble, an inside out dribble. It keeps the ball in your hand longer so that when he makes that read, you still have the ball in your hand so you can get it protected. That's what's going to happen most of the time. Here's what might happen the other part of the time, but it's still really good for you. While the ball's in my inside hand, I'm actually attacking down the outside of the floor. So maybe my defender is used to turning and cutting off the ball handler because they've done zigzag drills their whole life and wasted their time. So if he's done that and I'm attacking this direction, he cuts off my body, he's just given me the middle of the floor for a straight line attack. I don't even have to make a move. And here's the cool thing. As the defender adjusts, I use his speed against him and I look really quick for a blow by. That's called an inside hand attack. That's level one. Master that first and here's how you master it. When you're playing pickup, when you're playing one on one in scrimmages and practices, try it. It's gonna feel awkward, it's gonna be new, but you're gonna get better. Think they're ready for level two? Show them level two. Here's level two, Gary Payton, the glove throwback, Mark Jackson, throwback. They used this because they were bigger, slower guards. And they used it against quicker, smaller guards. Obviously, Jason's quicker than me. They used it against quicker, smaller guards to still get by them. We call this a shuffle dribble. So if I were actually to be in the center of the court, I could actually use an inside hand attack, not to attack vertically, but to actually shuffle diagonally across the court. You see I've put my defender in motion. I'm using his speed against him. Because I put him in motion moving this way, I'm actually moving across the court. As we get close, I then can get my blow by. What might also happen is he might get a little jumpy. He might want to go for that dangle dribble as well. So as I'm pulling along, boom, I get it protected. I explode by. And without making a crazy crossover or over dribbling, I'm able to use his speed against him. That's the secret to inside hand attack. Practice it, train it, make your defender look foolish, make yourself look quick. Let's see it on the court. So if this video helped you out, please like it. Please subscribe to our channel. And if you want the only four in one camp experience, click the link in the description below to find a session near you. I'll see you there.